Thy word is truth, O Lord. Thy word is truth. Sanctify us with thy word, O Lord. Thy word is truth. Sanctify us with thy word, O Lord. Thy word is truth. Amen. Hallelujah. Good morning, beloved. You are welcome to Word of Truth of today. The topic of the Word of Truth of today is what we have, re- we have received not the Spirit of the Word, but the Spirit which is of God. What we have received not the Spirit of the Word, but the Spirit which is of God. Our Bible text is taken from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 12 that says, Now we have received not the Spirit of the Word, but the Spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given, on, given to us of God. This is the word of God. The spirit of the word is the spirit of deception. The spirit of the word is the spirit that conducts sins and that allows sins. The spirit of the word is the spirit of sin and iniquity. The spirit of the word is the spirit of the of the prince of this world, which is the devil. The Bible says in the book of First John chapter four, verse four to six that says, Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is it that is in, in you than he that is in the world. They are of the world, therefore speak they of the world, and the world inherit them, we are of God. He that know God he hareth us. He that he that is not of God, he hareth not us. Hereby hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. The spirit that is in the world is the spirit of error. The spirit of God is the spirit of truth. He that is in the world is the devil. He that is in us is God. Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. The, the, the Lord Jesus Christ came so that we, we might know the truth and be set free. The Bible says in the book of John 8, 32, And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. The mind and the will of God for us is to know the truth. The mind and the will of God for us is to know the truth that we set, us, we set them free. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by him. For a man to be of God and to receive the, the spirits of God, he must be born again. He must believe in Jesus Christ and receive him as his Lord and personal Savior. He must be baptized with the Holy Ghost and his power. The Lord Jesus said in the book of John, chapter 3, verse 3 to 7, that says, Jesus and answered and said unto him, very, very, verily I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said, un- said unto him, How can a man be born, a- born can be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Very verily I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That is that which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Marvel, marvel not that I said unto thee, ye must be born again. This is the word of God, beloved. That which is born of the flesh is of the flesh. That which is born of the spirit is of the spirit. For a man to understand the things of the spirit, it must, it must have the spirit of God. For the service of any man to be acceptable unto God, it must be in spirit and in truth. The word of God says in the book of John, 4.24, God is a spirit, and they that worship him was, much, was worship him in spirit and in truth. This is the word of God, beloved. Let us be filled with the spirit of God and not the spirit of the world. The Bible says in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 12 to 15, that says, Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given, given, given to us of God, which things also we speak, not in the world, which man's word teaches, but which is the only, only which the Holy Ghost teaches, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. But the natural man receives not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness, foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them, because they are spiritually designed. Beloved, there are things that are, give, are given to us freely, which God wants. Which God wants us to know, and to know these things, we must be filled with the Spirit of God. There are spiritual gifts that God wants to impact in us, and for us to receive these spiritual gifts, we must be filled with the Spirit of God. We must receive the Spirit of God and not the Spirit of the world. The Bible says in the book of First Corinthians, chapter two, verse nine, that says, "But as it is written, I am, I am not seen." Nor ear had, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for them that love, 
that love him. This is the word of God, beloved. Let us walk in the spirit of God and be filled with the spirit of God. Let us walk in the spirit and live in the spirit. Let us be filled with the spirit of God and not the spirit of the world. We are in the world, but we, will not, we must not be filled with the spirit of the world. We are in the world, but we must, we must not obey the spirit of the world. We are in the world, but we must not hear and listen to the spirit of the world. We are in the world, but we must not allow ourselves to be controlled and led by the spirit of the world. We are in the world, but we must, we must listen and obey the Spirit of God, and allow the, the Spirit of God to lead us in this world. I pray the Lord help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Romans 8, 14. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Amen. God bless you. Shalom.